Hey! You! In the chat, you there! I see you, you're watching the stream. Welcome. Good to see ya. Hope you're doing well. Y yes, you! Th yeah, that's right, I'm talking to you. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Talking to you right there. The one in the chat watching the stream, I'm looking at you. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. It's me, it's your boy. I'm not your boy. I'm a man. I'm no boy. But welcome. Good to see you. It's time for some Halo mods. We're overdue for Halo modding content. And let me tell you, there is in fact some content. It is Halo related. And modding related. And trust me, it's gonna be good. I'm working on something new. I'm, I'm cooking up a new project. I'm gonna be real, alright? I try to keep it real with you guys. I am so unbelievably burned out. I'm working on Ultimate Forge and Huge Grass right now. I just need a break, man. I just need a break on and I, I want to work on something fun That's just like interesting and new. I can't man. It's, it's killing me So we're gonna work on something really cool today Now some of you guys may have been here for yesterday's stream And you may recall something interesting happened, which was that we were watching a War of the Worlds game teaser type thing in which a giant War of the Worlds tripod was like going through and just destroying everything. Yo, Corbin, thank you so much for the $20 tip, dude, on the daily distraction goal. Much appreciated. That really does mean a lot to me. I hope you know that. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. We said, glad you're streaming. I was just starting to get bored. Me too. I'm also glad I'm streaming. I, I'm not gonna lie, I almost didn't stream it. I was like, fuck it. I wanna, I wanna stream myself working on this part of the project. It's, it's fun. It's a good time. Uh, but thank you so much for that. I really appreciate that. That actually means a lot. Scarab, scarab, scarab. Yeah, instead of a tripod in a War of the Worlds scenario, we have a scarab in a Halo scenario. Specifically, an old Mombasa scenario. It's gonna be awesome. Ah! So imagine this, right? Imagine this. You're in... Hold on, I gotta... <laughs> give me a second here. You're in Old Mombasa in Halo 2, right? You're like in the streets here, there's like buildings everywhere. And you look up, and this is what you see. Just stomping around right above you. It's a giant scarab. A massive scarab is just stomping around. Everywhere the scarab stomps, a building just kaboom explodes into a giant ball of dust and debris. Oh, think about how cool that would be. I might even give the scarab like new sounds that it's never had before. Where it just like wow, 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 you know, like tripod sounds, but like scarab themed tripod sounds if you catch my drift. I think that'd be really cool. And then of course, this'll I haven't I'm pretty sure it'd be more fun if it was a player controlling it, but an AI version of the scarab would also be pretty cool. And uh, I'm I'm really digging this idea right now because as I'm as I'm going through and kind of mapping it out, I've come up with a really good system for making this mod um, like very feasibly. And this is coming hot off the presses of yesterday's stream where I improved the toes of the scarab. That's right. The angular toes of the scarab have in fact been improved. Look at those toes. Can you believe it? How do I do it? No, but in all seriousness, uh, this mod I think will be really exciting. Make a scarab have a roar slash horn? That's what I want to do. The scarab probably should have like some kind of sound that it makes. Drake, stop. You'll wake the feet lovers. You're right. I should put those people back to sleep. For good. Um, but I want to show you some of this. Some of this idea, right? So, you know, this is right here. Halo 2. Old Mombasa. Not very new. Very old, in fact. And uh, what I'm doing right now, and as I'll show you, I'm making some progress on it. The goal is, right, at the end of the day, to have this style of city with, like, some skyscrapers and things. One player or AI scarab is just walking around and just crushing everything utterly. Pretty cool. And uh, where's Drake? I can't see him. Sure, here, you know what I'll... Hey, it's me. Look at me doing me things. It's, uh, it's me. I do be here with you now. All right, so here's the thought, right? And then I'll show you some of the progress I'm working on it in Blender. Um, basically, it's gonna look like this in the end. Probably not as good and as dense and detailed as actual Halo 2 Old Mombasa. Essential hair fluff in progress? Yeah, it, it, listen, I have thin hair, right? So unless I fluff it, it doesn't look, it's never looked very good. It's always been rather thin. 
But check this out. So, for one, I've been in Blender ripping old Mombasa to shreds today. So I've just been kind of trying to find any individual uh, buildings and things. And so far I've made progress on a single building. I'm working on the second one, but on the first one here, I have ripped it out of the map and I have successfully patched up the building itself, fixed all of its textures and UVs. And now this is an individual building that can easily be used. What are we listening to? What soundtrack is it? Prey soundtrack? The Prey soundtrack goes pretty hard. I'm not even going to lie. But we're going to listen to some Halo instead. Yeah. Let's do, let's do this. Get a little bit, get a little amped in here. Um, so yeah, so this is a, a building I ripped out of uh, Old Mombasa from Halo 2's campaign. And of course, I had to like patch it up. It wasn't very hard, but like this line that you see here, everything below this and this entire section here, um, I just had to recreate really quickly, fix all the UVs on. And, uh, you know, it was not too bad. This whole area here was all new. Um, I'm currently doing the same thing on this building. I've recreated this entire wall here, and I need to give it some textures and UV love. And this is this is how I think I can really make a fully destructible old Mombasa style um, city work at a scale big enough where you can actually have a scarab stomping through it, right? Because these buildings are pretty small compared to the scarab. This scarab is massive. Oh. Hold on, let me, let me hide Halo 2. The Scarab is massive, right? So if this is actually stomping around at a reasonable speed around the map, it's going to be destroying these buildings, like, left and right. So how the hell am I going to make it so these buildings are actually, like, useful? The answer, my answer to that, is very simple. Copy Inferno Plus. For those of you guys who don't know, he had a mod where everything was Minecraft blocks, and he made the entire map out of just an absolute shit ton of individual chunks that have different damage states. So this is what it's going to look like, alright? Look, this is a top-down view of the road, okay? Look, here, look, these little road lines, look at that. These, these little roads. Here. This, these are little roads, see? This is, I'm going to try building the map on like a grid, generally, and then spice it up and make it more interesting over time, right? So basically, what I, what's going to happen is every single, there's going to be a, a grid of roads of some shape, some form. In the middle of each road, I'm going to split all of these things up into four segments, sometimes six segments, sometimes two segments. And then each one is going to have a easily tileable, perfectly tileable building, all right? Just imagine there's like a little, little 3D house here. Right? So each each little thing here is going to have a tileable house on it. Whoa, Milkman! Holy shit, thank you for the 20 gifted memberships! God damn! That's huge! Thank you so much, dude! That's actually so many! Yo, if you guys just got gifted a membership by Milkman, be sure to give your thanks. That's so awesome! Oh, oh it begins. It begins. Oh... But do you guys kind of see what I'm going for here? I basically just want to make it so... Um, there's basically going to be a grid of buildings, right? And I'm going to have a bunch of different variations, and I'm just going to be able to place them in these grids and place them all over the place, and there's going to be like alleyways in between them, and then I'm going to have like a bunch of different uh, like individual pieces that kind of go in between them to spice things up so it doesn't look too same everywhere. And I'm thinking if I get like 12 different buildings, that might be enough to make this look pretty varied, and then I could have some unique roads and stuff. Like Bungie themselves made it, you're so right. Have you looked at the map turf and the description? Have you looked at the map turf and the description giving about the scarab? I'm gonna be honest, Gyarados boss. I have no idea what the fuck you just wrote or what it means. The description of turf. Halo 2 turf. Through though they dominate on open terrain, many scarabs have fallen victim to the narrow streets of Earth cities. Oh, I see. I mean, it's cool. I don't really know what to do with that yet, but I like it. It's cool. It's like scarabs get taken down. Oh, Luna, you're so needy. You're such a needy cat. Look, there's a big fluffy cat here. 
You're so needy. You're just so needy. Oh my goodness, Luna. Look at you. Yes, you are. All right. So how are we going to do this? Well, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these buildings that I've been working on here. And I'm going to add in a very symmetrical grid system that allows the buildings to all get connected together. Milkman with the fiber, thank you very, very much. I appreciate that. I'm not letting you forget. I need that drivable couch. That's right. Oh my God. I, I forgot about that, but I should not have. Um, <laughs> I got you. Drivable couch sounds fun. Oh, that's right. I remember I even told you the story about the Gmod drivable couch I saw recently that inspired me to make it like totally separately. Mm. I got you. I think there's a couch prop that's actually in the game already on Voy that I would be very interested in doing something with. That, we can do that. <laughs> Maybe I'll put some actual, like, Warthog wheels on it. That'd be fun. Thank you for that fiber, though, man. Alright, before we go to couches and stuff, let me show you guys the rest, alright? So these are the old Mombasa streets. I don't know, I never really paid close attention to the old Mombasa streets. I don't know if you guys ever did, either. But, yeah, these are the old Mombasa streets. They look kind of interesting. Um, there's the old Mombasa sidewalks. Basically, what I'm going to do, right, I'm going to... Make like, you know, let me just make a grid really quick. We'll just make a little, just make a little grid, all right? Do something like this, right? And uh, I'll link, link some materials on here. Assign it to sidewalk. We'll UV it to scale four. Yeah, sure, fuck it. Um, and basically, what I'll do, right? I take the buildings. And I put them on these grid structures, and then I make it, it's kind of like Lego pieces, so all the buildings will be able to fit together in like any variation that I want. And then obviously, you know, this building over here that I'm working on right now will have its own grid structure like so. And then theoretically, in an ideal world, I'll just be able to like fit them together and then end up with a city. But obviously in a way nicer way than the quick and dirty way I just did it. But yeah, I can do that and then I'll be able to like stack roads in between everything. You know, wow, wow, look at roads. And then use, I just kind of build a city out of that. But instead of it being an actual map, they end up being like buildings that are placed down by hand that have destruction states, right? And so that ends up basically making a, a new Mombasa or old Mombasa city. Which I think would be pretty cool. Just imagining the scarabs stepping through these buildings. Well, the fun part, too, is the scarab's not just gonna, like... In the way that a scarab steps on terrain... Like here, you know, the toes just kind of grab onto the ground. The scarab will be stepping through the buildings... And then damaging the buildings. And, like, absolutely destroying them, which would be really cool. Um, Gyarados, thank you so much for the 8. Appreciate it. He said, have you looked through a Halo 2 district for ideas? Almost a one-to-one -one outskirts in the first part. You know, I haven't, but that's a really good idea. Actually, let me, um, let me load up outskirts, or not outskirts, district. Because uh, I, I actually have not looked at it, but that would be a really good map for potentially pulling some old Mombasa buildings and structures from. So, let me go scenarios. Um, multi... Is it literally just called District? Anyone know the name of District's Halo 2 map file name? Oh, I gotta look it up, don't I? It is... Not here. It's not on the website. Turf? No. Or Dent? No. What is it called? Why can't I remember? Maybe I'm in the wrong folder. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I have no idea what it's called. District is a Windows Vista map. It sure is. Terrain Abandoned City. What is it called in the... Does anyone know the file name by chance? Like, off the top of their heads? Oh, Cyclotron said Cyber... Yeah, I have no idea. Okay, well... Trivia... Okay, maybe maybe it is on this website. Oh no, you know what it wouldn't be. You know what would have it though is assembly. I can pop open assembly and that'll definitely have it. Yeah, you're right, Gyarados. 
pop up an assembly real quick. Street Sweeper, according to Google. Oh, let's see, Street Sweeper. Nice, that totally is. Okay, thank you for that. You just saved, I was, oh, I'm glad to open assembly, but you saved me some time. Sorry, Luna, I gotta go. All right, let me use the restroom real quick and while this loads up, I'll be right back. Alright, we made it. We're in the street sweeper. There's a lot of bloom going on. Would you look at that? Wow, actually, dude, this is so useful. There are some great buildings here. Like, actually, some really great buildings here. Damn, that's crazy. Wow. Man, the chair is back. I know, I'm so sorry. So, so sorry. No, yeah, a lot of these buildings I could actually just straight up, like, just yoink them. Be like, that's mine, and that's mine. Parking garage? I know. Massive parking garage, even. This map is so cool. I don't know what it was originally designed for, but it's really, really cool. Also, they have, like, a higher fidelity um, highway, which is really nice, actually. I absolutely forgot that this was a thing oh wow they actually have the bump maps for this texture wait that's so good in campaign they don't have the normal maps for this texture here but they do on this that's that's really really good awesome okay and then uh actually what do you guys think asphalt roads these asphalt roads did not exist in campaign but i feel like it might be nicer if i did include the asphalt roads I think I'll do that. It just feels like more urban and less like Africa-y, you know? It's got like road paint and concrete. Like what the fuck? When did they get, what, what, when? It's nice though, I will say. It's literally like the same textures as Campaign, but it's asphalt instead of just like stone. Turf and the level of the trains on it. Yeah, but that's new Mombasa. This is like old Mombasa, which is pretty cool. What does that say? Oh, okay. It's probably just like something from campaign. Well, that's cool though, I will say. Reflections are super fucked up on that, but you know, it'd be like that sometimes. Anything else interesting around here? No, not really. Nice skybox, I guess. It's kind of bland before uh before Mombasa fell that's cool am I doing Halo 2 technically no I'm doing Halo 3 but we're looking through Halo 2 right now because uh, I'm making an old Mombasa map for like uh, a scarab horror themed thing okay this is really cool I like this little cropped alcove thingy area here Oh, what the heck? There's like a secret room back here. That's neat. I wonder how many people know that exists. Well, hidden area. Can you get there normally? Let's see, I'm curious. Like... Hello? Player simulation, please. Please and thank you. Okay, there we go. You come in here. And then obviously you can't normally get up there, but what if I like... What if I drove a warthog? Is this like a secret area that... Let me see this, hold up. I, I'm, I'm just too curious to not... to not check this.
Probably hit an invisible wall. You say that, but also this is Halo 2. And in Halo 2, they don't really have a whole lot of those invisible walls. Zero soft barriers. All I have to do is, if I can get this to, like, go up and, like, float up. Maybe a ghost actually would be better. If I can, like, drive up somehow and, like, cram the hog. Grenade jump. You know what? Grenade jump is way smarter. I don't know what I was thinking. How do I grenade throw in this? Okay, it's right click. Of course, of course it's right click. Duh, obviously it's right click. Okay, wait, almost, almost. It just bounced a little more than I thought. Oh, come on. Is there a collision, is there a collision brush there? There better not be. All right, one more time, one more time. There totally is. Oh, I bet that I bet money that there is a player simulation here. Oh yeah, look, you can see there's a little invisible wall there. Turns out you can't. There's no way to get through this secret area here. There's, a, there's in fact a wall. You can't go to this cool secret area back here. Huh. It's cool though. I feel like um, District is a map that not a lot of people really got to appreciate because there were so few people that actually ended up playing Halo 2 Vista. And even the people who played Halo 2 Vista probably played more campaign than multiplayer. I almost never touched District. Like, I knew it existed, but I never, like, played on it or did anything with it. So it is definitely interesting to see this and kind of explore it a little bit. Where is the Draugr rejected? I don't know. What are you, my mom? Go find the Draugr. It's not my problem, bitch. What the fuck? They painted the campaign building? Oh, they painted the campaign building. Is this on MCC? I don't remember. I think so. Yeah, yeah, no, it definitely should be on MCC. It definitely, definitely should be. I got rid of the palm trees though. I mean, there's palm trees here. I think those are the only palm trees in the map though. If I'm not mistaken. I don't know. I really like this map. I think it's really cool. It's it's literally just a big city. A big ass city. Look, they even like did roads going out here. Like for what? Oh, you can actually see through here. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's why. That's cool. There's just a lot of detail on this map. It's a really well-built map. I like it. I think it looks neat as hell. Oh, look, they have the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, somebody, I forget who said it, but yeah. They painted the campaign area. I just realized that this is... Almost like a one-to-one -one of the campaign area, but like expanded and enhanced. This is the beginning of Outskirts. Took me a minute to realize it. Maybe this is like, maybe this is outskirts pre uh, all this shit going. Down. I mean, it's not clearly because the buildings are different, but like, that's pretty cool. Does that mean if you go through here? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at this. Oh, the the room where your pelican crashed is not here. Unfortunate. That's cool though. They kind of started with the campaign geometry, right? And then they were just like, you know what? beginning of outskirts just kidding let's open all the doors change up a bunch of the buildings polish it up and turn it into an entire giant city and actually looking at it now there are a lot of layout similarities like this is normally the direction where you go through and uh would go through like the sniper alley and like all the buildings are different and everything uh, but you do come through here, and then this is normally where this bridge is collapsed, but they've kind of like redone the bridge and all of its visuals and connected it down here onto the ground. It's really cool. They, they actually did, for the most part, use the same layout of the first mission of campaign, but then they just really enhanced it and redid almost everything in like a higher fidelity, which is pretty cool. So it goes to outskirts, you can almost feel the beam rifle go through your eyeballs. You're so right for that. <laughs> 
No, this is cool though. It's actually just a better, more high quality version of, of the map. And what's also cool is that uh, I can use these buildings. And use them for whatever I want. In fact, this building here is just a alternative type of a building I already grabbed. Look how cool this is though. They added these little cubes to kind of be like wooden beams. You know, like um, houses kind of like in the Middle East and, and in like um, that region have structures built like that. That's really cool. Really, really cool, actually. There we did quite a bit of stuff. Plenty of alleyways to hide from the scarabs. Yeah, although the alleyways will definitely get broken down as the scarab stomps on everything. Because you guys know how on my Godzilla mod, like, you straight up can just be Godzilla and take down a skyscraper. I want to do that, but on a smaller scale and with less debris. Where, like, let's say a scarab leg impacts this building right here. The entire building will instantly... Switch to a damaged state, a ton of dust and dirt and debris will just boom, and like the building will just basically explode instantly. Dust goes everywhere, maybe a little bit of fire, depending on the type of building. Um, particle debris just goes flying everywhere. And the goal is if I use this little concept that I was working on here, where I have this grid, I can easily make an entire structure of buildings one single like forge object if that makes sense where if the scarab stomps in this quadrant that part of it gets destroyed if the scarab stomps in this quadrant that part of it gets destroyed and yeah basically it's like battlefield halo but and i'm not going to put in the effort because i don't really want to to make like every wall individually destroyable i don't want every single wall and roof and everything to be able to be destroyed um, instead, I'm just going to do the entire building one at a time. I probably could put in that level of detail. I just... That's going to take a really long time. And I don't want to do that. I want to make this quicker rather than like... And I, I still think it'll be really cool to have entire buildings instantly get like nuked by the Scarab. Rejected, I see you're following up on what was said last night. Hopefully the video suggestion I made helps your motivation with modding. Yeah, if you're talking about the War of the Worlds stuff, yeah, absolutely it does. 100%. Well, let's take a look at this map. Is there any buildings that I would want to snag from here? This building's kind of cool. It's a bit tall, though. And Scarab would kind of have some trouble with it. But I guess I could make it, like, fall over. Could do that. Hmm. This tower's kind of cool. Could have that, like, explode into a bunch of chunks. Ugh. Gyarados, thanks for the three. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Have a quick look at turf with the fallen scarab. Okay. Yeah, I'll take a look at that in just a sec. Let me poke around us a little bit more. See if there's anything I want to snag here. There's definitely at least one building I want to grab, so that's good. Um, other than that, though, not a whole lot more. Might have to end up making my own buildings, actually. A bit of a shame, but it'd be like that. These walls, I definitely want to snag like this wall right here. Uh, this would be really nice to have. This wall, I could, like, put it in between stuff. And it would be pretty, pretty nice. That tall tower, could you make the glass shatter? There is no glass on the tall... Oh, you're talking about this one. Yeah, I could, I could have the glass shatter. I'd have to make, like, a broken glass version of this texture and stuff, but, yeah, no. It could happen. It could work. I think what I would probably do is... Have all the glass become like, yeah, broken glass like that, and then just take, like have it. I don't know if I could do it though, because the problem is with the scarab, it's like an unstoppable, godly force of nature. Where if like the leg kicks the building, it'll literally just a giant chunk of building will go flying into the air like a thousand miles an hour. Fake interiors? No, real interiors. Real interiors. Only real interiors. I think that would be really, really good. I want to try that too. Like, I, I really, I think what I want to do is, um, I'll open turf really quickly, which I think, what is the name of that map in Halo 2? Is it Dune? It's not Dune. That's, um, that's Relic. Yo, Sea Boots, thank you very much for the tenor. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Appreciate, appreciate. Have the scarab holes 
in the buildings, wait, have the scarab holes in the building were treated like secret entryways into different buildings. If you knew where to shoot the rockets or throw nades, you'd open a new access way. If you knew where to shoot the rockets or throw nades. Uh, do you... I'm not really sure what you mean by that, to be honest. Am I... Looking at the destructible environment for mercenaries too, it's pretty efficient performance wise. I mean, I already kind of know how I want to do the destruction, so I'm not going to change anything up. It's the way I have just works really well. So I'll just end up doing it my way, but oh, this is cool. Oh, wow, that's crazy. They actually like merged the scarab with the terrain. That's pretty rad. Oh, look at that. Its guts are all out. Nasty. I used to spend so much time just like sitting near the scarab and being like, whoa, the scarab's literally right here. That's so cool. Uh, like wherever the scarab legs poke holes in the roofs of buildings, that's where you'd shoot a rocket. Now you have a new entryway into the building. Oh, I, I see what you're saying. I, I Unfortunately, there's definitely no way I'm going to be able to do something on that level of detail. I'm literally just going to make it so if the scarab steps on a building, the entire building just boom. Absolutely destroyed instantly i really don't have a better solution than doing than doing that to be honest with you um so yeah that's probably just how i'm gonna do it <sighs> excuse me uh, but doing it that way is honestly not a bad idea because it's really good on performance and it keeps the amount of work i have to do for each building and its destruction model pretty low Had a cruiser crashing in the background. That's very random. Um, maybe I don't. I haven't even made the map yet. Like I don't. Oh, that's cool. I never noticed on turf this building is like cracked and sagging. That's pretty fucking cool, man. It's pretty cool. All right. Let's switch it up a little bit. Let's go back into Blender. I think we, I have, I've got an idea now of like kind of what I want to do here for, for Halo 3, okay? Here's what I want to do. I, of course I'm going to need like a bunch of materials. I'm going to need, an, I'm going to need a shit ton of different materials um, set up for this map, but in order to make this in Halo 3, I am going to grab these buildings here, which is outlying buildings. I'm gonna grab outlying buildings and what is this? Old Town Atrium. Uh, I'm just gonna grab outlying buildings and then I'm gonna import them into my actual map that I'm working on here. So let's let's bring them in. I want to do a little test. Mods be on console? No, no, unfortunately not. All right, um, make a new collection. We're gonna call it Sky. And the Sky itself, put it through in the map, put this in the Sky. All right, cool. And then that should be like somewhere over there, if I had to guess. Yeah, there we go. We'll put our outlying buildings there, which is kind of nice. It gives you a sense of scale for the scarab. You can see how big these buildings are here. Yo, Dark Steel, thank you very much for the two, man. Appreciate it. Black Ops 3 is the best game engine. Mod Black Ops 3 now. I'm just going to ignore that comment. I did not. I didn't even hear anything, honestly. Nobody. Thank God nobody said anything recently. Okay, let's try that. That could be like a start, right? Not bad. Not bad. Is there a wall? Is there like a giant wall that gets used at any point in this map? Not really. All the buildings just kind of end up being walls. I do kind of want to box it in temporarily, but I'm not sure what material I'd use. Whoa, wait, I never noticed how big this fucking building is right here. Hold on, let me look at that in game. I, 
I don't mean to make a new folder. Um, let's go back to the campaign mission. I want to see what this building looks like. Because if, if it looks good, I can just copy and paste it a thousand times. Because looking at it in Blender is kind of interesting. It's just a massive, massive building. This caved-in one here. Can you even go over here? Like... It looks like you kind of can. What the fuck is stopping you from going over here in game? Oh wait, that's the other side. I was looking at the end of the mission. What the fuck? My brain. Uh, yeah, nothing really blocks it. It's just a street with big buildings. Oh wait, this is the actual big building that's here. Oh man, that's wild. Maybe I will use this building for something. It's kind of... It's kind of a good, actually. I could grab the one that's on, uh, District? That'd be sick. Yo, Darksteel, thank you for the two! Appreciate it. Halo 3 is the best gaming engine. Mod Halo 3 now? You're so right. Oh my god, I just... Man, how can my shatters be this base? I have the best community. Hold on, I was doing... Oh, right, we were blending. We are blending in Blender. Um, I am temporarily going to box the entire map in, temporarily, in this material here, City Base Stucco 1. That's going to be the entire city temporarily, keyword, keyword there. And uh, this will give me something to put in game and kind of, and kind of feel things out, you know. City base stucco one will uh, you know remove duplicate. Bitch tits! I didn't even save. Half Life Three is the best gaming engine. Mod Half Life Three now. God, I wish. I so badly wish. What is happening? War of Mombasa. We open that blend file. Okay. Well, did I lose progress? I didn't really? No, nah, I didn't lose any progress except that random plane I made. Alright, we'll make a little plane again. So, yeah, that's fine. That's a pretty enormous plane. Let's append uh, the same things we did before, those outlying buildings. And the moment I do this, I should be able to get this in-game like pretty dang quickly. down here yeah collection three hey look at this collection three how about you you become uh, sky stuff nice there we go then we take this alt p your parent keep transform delete hierarchy we've got our cool sky buildings here Might be a little bit large, but I, this is kind of the size of the city that I want. Is this crazy? Is it crazy to think like I could theoretically have a city of this size where the scarab looks kind of small and like takes forever and you could be like on the opposite side of the city and the scarab is like in the distance? I don't want it to be too big, but also the fact of the matter is the scarab has like a giga beam that can obliterate everything at a moment's notice. Yo, Jackson, thank you for the fiver. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. So love the work you put into these mods. I can't seem to get the Halo 2 Scarab to appear in Ultimate Forge though. Asset issue perhaps? I don't have the Halo 2 Scarab currently in the in the current version of Ultimate Forge, but I will be putting it in soon. Very soon, in fact. Um, but yeah, so I apologize for that. I have not yet added it. But yeah, soon. Very soon. <laughs> Okay, there we go. That's looking pretty good. All these edges are way too tall. Yeah, down like a lot. Okay, that looks decent. And then we can bring this all the way up and then fill it in. Make sure the face orientation's good. Expand it. I will add a plus sky material to this and assign it there. 
invert, assign it to the new material here. And I want to name that, save the project. I want to name that, uh, whatever material this was, city base stucco one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Save that, and then we'll do foundry, remove duplicate materials. Sure, that's fine. Um, now, the, there will be an issue here. Um, the main issue that I'm going to run into right now is that I don't have like 90% of the materials in Halo 3 for old Mombasa, so like most of the stuff just isn't going to render. Like straight up, it's just not. Which isn't the worst thing ever, but kind of sucks ass. A little bit. A little bit of ass suck. Very much not ideal. Um, but you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to delete this stuff. Find this all to the base stucco. And uh, I'm going to expand my selection like that. Then I'm going to expand it up there. And then I'm going to fill it in. And that. And that's all going to become sky. Boom, okay, much better. Now that allows for the buildings to all be like in the map technically. And then later on I can just block that up with an invisible wall and just say fuck it, and it doesn't matter. This is a good temporary like start to the map I think. And then I could put in like some of the Mombasa vibe stuff from my ODST Mombasa bridge map and I think that would look pretty cool. Um, let's see, let me like, let me fix some of the names on these objects. I feel like I could probably have these buildings be like, in the map, you know, I don't think it would like crash it or anything. Uh, obviously nothing is gonna have like, um, textures, like I said, if I put this in the map right now. But, a couple things might actually, a couple things actually might. Okay, we just need to be on building one. I don't know why they're not. Building two, blah, 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 it's fine. It'll delete streets rip. Basically, I'm gonna take all these test assets that I have here I'm gonna try throwing these in game. We'll see what we get. Um, I will hide all the scale stuff though. Let me try that. I think I can throw these in game, and we shouldn't have too much of an issue. Should probably. Ah, it's probably fine. Let's let's see if we can't get this in game. I'm sure this entire thing will look like just a crazy mess of Da Vinci Code patterning. But if we're lucky, maybe we have like one material working right. Maybe. All right, let's export this to a Halo 3 map type. Um, and just throw it in there, you know? Just go for it. And I have a little bit of fun with this. All right. Oh, wait. That was Halo 2. Okay, yeah. Halo 3, we're going to make a new folder for this map, and we'll put it in the game. Let's see what's going on. Pyro Scare would make this horrifying lingering fire tick damage over time. I feel like the... Is it just me or is the Banished Scarab not like a fiery Pyro Scarab? That literally fires like a lava beam. It's insane. To multi. I guess this could be multiplayer or... I'll start it off as a... You know, I'm just going to do levels custom. And then this one's going to be War on Mombasa. War of Mombasa. And we'll take uh, we'll take that ass file, we'll throw it in there. And we'll try it, we'll, we'll run it. Tool, Structure, Levels, Multi, Levels, Custom, War on, of Mombasa. Slash structure. I chose the longest name, dude. Why? What is wrong with me? Oh, 
Oh, I'm on the Halo 2 editing kit. Whoopsies. Tool, structure, levels, custom, war of Mombasa, slash structure, slash war of Mombasa. Ass. Okay, there we go. Hold on, I gotta check what those explosive errors were. I feel like I know what they are. Unable to find all the shaders ever. Yeah, there, there are no shaders. By those, oh, I forgot to export without the scarab and stuff. It did work though, which is good. Let's go through and make sure all of our shader names are good. A couple, a couple broken shader names, but they technically are still working. Oh wait, remove unused slots. There we go. Well, we have a bunch of objects in here that are using like every material available on the entirety of campaign. Which is very unnecessary. Okay, for the most part, they seem to be okay. That's good. Um, but I, I do want to export this without all the scarab stuff. So we'll do uh, do not export hidden geometry and then get that in game real quick. Ka-chow. It's not infusion gel. It's a radioactive space napalm, except it doesn't linger when it hits. It just explodes. That's dope. We all need a little infusion gel in our lives. Am I right? All right, let's go to the absolute... This... This is going to be the real radioactive wasteland here. It's going to be just all Da Vinci Code chaos, ugly, no skybox. It's going to it's going to be we're going into hell. We are about to enter hell and it's going to be so ugly. But just trust the process. Wait, what is this? Do we have I weirdly do have a couple materials actually. Would you look at that? I actually have a couple of these from my Halo 2 mods. Not bad. Look, we got a, a window right there. We got a couple windows. See, this is what happens. This is what happens when you actually make some Halo 2 mods. And you get a couple materials in here. In, in the Halo 3 engine. And it looks pretty alright. Look, even the road's got a little bit of stuff going on. I got uh, an idea. Add a spirit in the mod. A spirit like like the dropship? That could be cool, I guess. Yeah. Be alright. Alright, let's uh I do need to add textures, but I do want to see if I can add the nice atmosphere from um my upgraded Mombasa bridge map. So let's do that real quick. Real fucking quick. Fuck yeah. Okay, but for real, let's add it. We'll go. Levels. We'll open up this this level first. Of course. And then we'll open up another one. And this one will be uh, Levels, Solo, Metropolis, H3. And then we'll open up this scenario. This will be nice. Okay, so on this... We do need a sky. I'm literally just going to steal the sky from uh, from Metropolis H3. Do I think should I pay you back? For what? I don't think you owe me anything, but I'm sure I don't, I guess. All right, camera effects. We'll put all the camera effects and everything on down here. This is going to be a weird hybrid. This is now about to become a hybrid of like... Um, Halo 2 and ODST, like, at the same... This, this is going to be weird. Let's see what happens, though. Whoa. Ominous. I kind of love it. Nice, dude. Obviously, we don't have any textures, but the atmosphere is so here. Hell yeah. That's what I like to see. Yeah, let's throw a scarab in here, see what it looks like in this lighting. There's something that confused me. Why aren't you already using the Halo Reach skyscrapers? You already made them have collapsible physics and stuff? Because that's a new Alexandria building. Those are from Planet Reach, the city of New Alexandria. I'm 
gonna be honest, this lighting does make it a little bit scarier. All right, let's put some spawn points down real quick. Player starting profiles, make a new starting profile with a, let's give ourselves an assault rifle. Do an object weapon. Assault rifle, you know, with nine 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 nine. And a little starting point right here. Save it, refresh. There we go. We're in already. Amazing. Oh, that's Halo 2. Oh, that sound, I don't even know. How would the scarab look in the dark? Probably pretty spooky. I can see why y'all would want my boss. I just thought uh, if you wanted something quick, that was a route to go. I mean, it's not a bad idea. Like, I, I don't dislike the idea. I just, I like a little bit of consistency. It seems like a pretty fun project. Side note, the scarab, you can actually see inside of it again. It doesn't go pitch black in here. Now, even though nothing is set up, there are like literally... Hello? Oh great, my controller just spontaneously stopped working again. Um, yeah, there's a lot to go. I uh, clearly haven't UV mapped like this entire back part here. Um, I need to grab a bunch of the materials for this building. But what I would like to do as a test today is I want to take this building, obviously give it textures, which is pretty important. Um, but I want to turn it into like a destructible object where I make this building and once I texture it, I make a destroyed version where it's all just like crumpled and ob obliterated. And uh, once I do that, I think things will be pretty cool because uh, I can then spam it all over the map and then have the scarab like step on it a bunch. It would be pretty cool. Because from the Scarab's perspective, these buildings are tiny. They are just puny little nothings. Like that building would be done for right there. All the buildings all around here would be totally done for. I think it's actually a pretty good size for the map. Because the Scarab really would have trouble destroying like every single building. If I, although I would, Admittedly, this would take like hundreds and hundreds of buildings to fill in all this space. Then again, not every building needs to be destructible. Like if there's a really large building, a scarab probably wouldn't be able to just like completely obliterate it. Maybe I could have the big buildings be destroyed in parts though, I suppose. It would just be really cool to see, like, be on the inside of a building when a scarab stomps on it and obliterates the entire structure. Make sure the bits can splatter players. I won't, I'll try not to do too many bits for the sake of optimization and stuff, but, yeah. I will make sure to have, like, satisfying destruction that's actually dangerous. in this is like actually scary it's just so bright that you legitimately can't see it's just blinded that's so cool and yeah, i think this will be really good though very fucking spooky all right i'm having fun with that but uh it would be a lot more fun if these things actually had textures and stuff so let's work on that it's thing that's pretty important to do next uh, imagine you, uh, if you blast the floor for long enough, you eventually uncover a small section of the arc portal. That's kind of a cool idea. Uh, I can't really think of a good way to pull that off in engine, but that's, that's kind of neat. They give your scarab like a quote unquote purpose. I was thinking about just having this be like a mainly infection style map, right? Where it's like last man standing type deal. I think that would work pretty good.
All right, I want to grab some of these textures and put them in here. Um, so everything under the city prefix. Excuse me. Pardon me for one second. I gotta go. Here. Uh, and then if I go to scenarios, tags, levels. So I got caught up in that Halo 2 folder scheme there for a second. Right, so we have city, city. Okay. Levels, multi Mombasa bridge? Okay, so I have to shove all of my city-related stuff into the Mombasa Bridge folder. Gotcha. Okay. Sure. Fuck it. You can make an interesting variant where the Scarab is cleaning up the Flood? <laughs> what? That doesn't even make sense. I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense. Oh, look here. Base stucco 5 brick. All this stuff is in here. Fuck yeah. All right, all right. Alright, Stucco 3. Stucco 1, Window Small. Is that one that I have? It is. How lucky. Okay, Stucco 2, Door. <sighs> this part's a little boring, but just give me like... Five minutes and we'll have it. Um, stucco one window small. I think yeah. I'll just copy. I'll just copy this one and then this will become base stucco two and then door. Very nice. Same thing for stucco three, but roof base stucco three roof. Then base stucco four trim. Cool, so now I got all those, um, but I definitely need to put them... Let me double check something. Okay, those are working, that's good. Um, some of the overlays I was worried wouldn't be working, but I can see them on there. They are working correctly. Maybe. Okay, I lied. The overlays are not fully working correctly. That's fine, though. Now that I have those shaders in, I'll try rerunning the structure. None of the... Okay, yeah, so that's not what it's supposed to look like. But it, it is, in fact, working. Now let's get this to look like what it's, you know, actually supposed to look like. Then enhance it a little bit, because something tells me it's going to need a little bit of love to actually look good. Alright, so first things first. Um, I can close this second gorilla. And then I want to go ahead and grab the bitmaps for what's actually supposed to be used on this. So... Windows small, it's already in. You can barely see it, but it is there. Okay, stucco 3. Now we need stucco 2 roof. Stucco 2 roof uses... Uh... Yeah, stucco 2 roof. Okay, cool. We will be needing one very important program here. Wow, Windows 11. So cool. I love... Have I ever told you guys how much I love Windows 11? And how cool and good Windows 11 is? I hope I have, because I love Windows 11 so much that I think everyone should know how good it is. At a phantom dropping, you just wrote gibberish. Listen, I don't read the books, all right? You're going to have to start talking in video game terms. Tool, bitmaps, uh, levels, multi, Mombasa, bridge, bitmaps. It's brute. Why didn't you just say that? Why you, Do you know how much effort it is to spell Jural Hane? Or whatever. 
bubbles. Oh, I put Muttley. Alright, let's see here. We still need to open up Reclaimer, get some more bitmaps up in here, but generally... <laughs> Monkey. Uh, okay, old Mombasa, here we go. So now I can, wait, is this what I want? I think this is what I want, yeah. So we're taking a look at these shaders. I am looking for stucco, no, roof? What was the name of this roof shader? Stucco 2, dude, Halo 2, I swear, it's so confusing. Like half the materials just don't have normal maps and like I legit just have to generate them. And things that don't have normal maps look like ass. I'm hiding from a crazy man while watching this. It's me. I'm the crazy man. I know where you live. All right, levels, multi, uh, Mombasa Bridge, shaders, base stucco two. Is it stucco three? I think stucco three roof is the right one. So yeah, wait, what is this? Base stucco five brick bump? That exists. It has, it, it has a bump map. Right? Look at that. Stucco 5 brick a bump. Stucco 3 roof though. No bump. Oh, it's Stucco 2 roof. But yeah, Stucco 3 roof. No bump. What's going on, man? Where is that? Why is it not? What? They don't, they don't, we didn't have the budget for roof bump maps? What's going on here? But that is stucco to roof, in fact. Which was the incorrect name for this shader. Whoops. Hey weasel, little rat cat. How you doing? I think I'm adding the Meg Easter egg to this map, like in campaign. Why would I do that? It's so random. You guys ask the strangest questions, I swear. Maybe, I don't know, it's just so random. Uh, the Meg, you gotta understand when that, when Bungie adds like an Easter egg like that, it's like a reference to, I mean, maybe, I, I wasn't really thinking about it to be honest, that's extremely obscure and random. To answer your question in full honesty, no, I was definitely not at all thinking of that. It's an interesting idea though, I'll, I'll consider it. Was I actively thinking about that specifically? No, I'm not gonna lie to you. I was like, maybe the last thing I would have ever thought of, but it could be cool. All right, uh, this does not have a bump map. Off, uh, base map. One boss bridge, we want stucco to roof. Boom, all right. I don't think that worked, so we're gonna just re-import that map real quick. Wow, it's the root. Dude, that's so blurry. That's crazy. That is insane. Meg is a reference to another couple, so it'd be kind of weird to be honest. That's what I'm saying. It's kind of random. Like, I don't know those people. Dude, this is ass. These Halo 2 textures are so much like more ass than I thought they would be. Like, I really, really need to help these textures out, dude. They're hideous. These are awful. I think at this point I might just, like, redo certain textures, because that's bad, dude. I might just be, like, grabbing some Halo 3 textures here. That's so horrendously ugly. Damn. I hate it, to be honest with you. I hate it a lot. Oh, hey, look. Circles. Yeah, here in Halo 2, I feel like they have some kind of like rendering maybe that makes it look a little better. No, they don't. Like it just straight up looks like ass here too. Damn. That's crazy. It's just dark, so you don't really notice it. 
They tiled it a lot more over here. We got the textures from the H2A version. Were it so easy? It actually is considering index right there. That's not. I'm not even going to try on explaining that one. I don't have the energy today. Alright, we do need this grungy stuff. I did forget the name of the grungy stuff. That city grime window. Okay, so for grime window, I think I do have... Do I have a grime already? No, I have something similar to this. I forget what I called it though. Ah, uh, shoot. What did I call this? Maybe the letters? Were there letters? Yes, okay, decal letters. I'm going to use this and call it grime window. Now to answer your question, Dark Steel, um, it's possible there would be textures for it, but like, the problem really isn't just the blurry textures. It's like, if you manage to actually find the correct texture set for whatever they ended up using in H2A that looked similar to that, then maybe it looks good if you're lucky, but now it doesn't match the art style anymore. There's like a lot more to consider than just can you rip the HD textures from if they happen to exist correctly? Like, they're, they're just, it's like yes, obviously you can. Obviously. But there's a lot more to consider after that fact is, is the thing. Like, you are correct, but also, yeah, there do be a bit more to it. Oh, why did I delete the grime stuff? Well, I guess it's probably fine, actually. I gotta go into Halo 2 fish. Ugh. Gah. Oh wait, I have Halo 2. How lucky. Oh my god, I still have the Goku stuff open. Holy shit. No, 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 no. All right, I don't want to see Halo 2 Goku right now, dude. All right, scenarios. Solo. Oh no, whoops. Uh, shaders. Scenarios, shaders, solo, earth city, grime, window. Okay, so I literally just use the grime window base map. Cool. Yo, Halo Meister, thank you for very much for the $10 tip. I really appreciate that. Thank you very, very much. Hey, again, hello. Hope you're doing well. I'm being all, I'm being all grumpy today, to be honest with you, Halo Meister. I am, uh... Just kind of here, grumpified, doing my usual nicotine withdrawing modding. I I have to be honest with you guys. I'm so glad that I don't have grime window on here. I'm so glad that I quit smoking, but there's a but to it. I don't feel any desire to smoke more, which I'm really grateful for, but I do feel something else, which is, I feel, an, I, I don't wanna be angry all the time. Right now I'm angry and annoyed all the time, and it's not fun, I'm like generally a pretty lighthearted person, I would say, and I am just permanently angry now. I have been angry for the past two weeks non-stop, and I'm just not a very fun person to be around. And it makes streaming hard, because I, I'm trying not to be snippy. But like, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, okay? Sometimes you guys say some really dumb shit, and you deserve me to just like chew you out for just saying some really dumb shit, but I choose not to, okay? 
Because if somebody says something ridiculous, I can just be like, ah, it's silly, and I can just play it around. Without smoking, it makes it really hard to be nice about it. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I feel like I've been way more of an asshole lately on stream because of it. And I, I don't like that. I like way more to just... I don't know. Like, just joke about it. Now I'm just like... We can be pretty dumb. I mean, uh, half of the, I feel like the chat's 50-50, right? Like, half the chat is just saying, like, the dumbest shit you've ever seen. And the other chat is, like, actually just, like, you know, valuable, intriguing stuff. All that. Um, you know, it'd be like that. There's my grimy window texture. My grimy window. Where's my window grime? Actually, where's my window grime? Oh, there it is. Okay. Reimport all those bitmaps. Yeah. Get those bitmaps in. See if that did anything. Reimport the map real quick, see if the window grime appears. Okay, we actually do have the window grime appearing, but obviously it's not rendering correctly. That is very much incorrect. I know it's on alpha blend, but it looks like. Uh oh, no alpha channel. Why? Where did the alpha channel go? Oh, you know what? I think it's supposed to be on multiply, actually, not. Alpha blend. Let's try multiply. No, not multiply? Maybe it is supposed to be alpha blend. What are you on Halo 2? The overlay. We don't have overlay in Halo 3. We only have alpha blend. Additive? Are you... Are you kidding me? They removed overlay as a blend mode. And all we have now is alpha blend. They don't have alpha. On the I, I gotta do it manually. This is some bullshit. Okay. Here's how I'm gonna do this. I'm going to duplicate this layer. I'm going to add a brightness and contrast filter right up the contrast, up the brightness, and then just repeat that. A lot. Right, and I'm just gonna, I'm doing this a slow way. I could literally just be copying and pasting adjustment layers, but it's fine. So we'll just do that, right? Then I will uh, add a black and white filter on it. I'm gonna copy those pixels. Add a mask onto this, paste that in there. Um, invert the mask though. It looks like that. Now I've got an alpha channel on this grunge. That should be pretty handy. And I can put that in the alpha channel just to be safe here. And then, theoretically, I have now made this valuable in Halo 3's engine. So I'm gonna save it. Saving in the background, which is why Windows making silly noises, and boom. Um, now I can just re-import it. See if it helps. Nice. That did pretty much exactly what I wanted. Although that said, I don't think it's tiled correctly. Halo 2, how did you tile this? Without much care in the world. Maybe I should double up that tiling, because I don't I don't see it. Oh, that's why. It was just set badly. There we go. Nice! Now the grimy textures are there very subtly. You can barely see them, but they're working great. You'll love to see it. 
Very cool. Okay, next up is this texture that goes over like the whole thing. It looks horribly ugly, and it's definitely not the right texture, so we can fix that. Um, and that material is base stucco 3. So let's see. Does it have a bump map? Stucco 3. Oh, that's a shader. Stucco 3. It has no bump map. Again, dude, I'm gonna have to generate like a thousand bump maps for these, I swear. Base stucco three with no bump map. Okay, this is starting to look more like an outskirts building. All right, we're getting there. We're slowly but surely getting there. I think what I'm going to do is once I get this thing fully textured and looking correct, I'll just try my best to redo it and make it look actually like... How do I put it? I'm just going to like upscale it to Halo 3 uh, level of detail, you know what I mean? Like It definitely could be better in that way. There's definitely a lot of shared similar materials that Halo 3 has, like on Ghost Town for example. Ghost Town in Halo 3 has a lot of materials that would just look really, really good here. That same kind of yellowish concrete here with some darker... I could do, like, some stone accents. Turn me on as Halo 2 Plus. Yeah. Something like that. Got another idea for, but for the next mod? I bet you do. Bet you've got all kinds of ideas, don't you? You make me sick. Okay, actually, I could, I could put a room in this. I could actually make a pretty nice little room in there. Voy has a lot too. That's right, Yoink's mine. Voy? No, Voy's like a factory hub. It doesn't really have like old Mombasa style stuff, I don't think. Okay, let's see what I'm missing here. Okay, this material here is stucco 5 brick, which I don't think that's stucco 5 brick. Oh, I lied. That is stucco fiber. Why does it look like that? Stucco fiber brick. Everything seems pretty normal on it. But it's like wood. That's not. No, nah, I must have messed something up. Stucco five brick. Well, shit. I'm just wrong. All right. It's fine by me, I guess. And what are you? Stucco five brick. Stucco five brick. That's the entire trim of Stucco Fiber. Okay, well, we have base Stucco 2 door. We definitely need that. Stucco 2 door. Looks like that. We already have the texture in game, so let's uh, grab that. Stucco 2 door. That's Halo 2. We want Halo 3. You got an idea for the next mod? I believe you. But you should make it. I think you should make it. I think I don't have the talent to make the mod idea that you have, and I think instead that you should make it. All right, we got a door. Oh, that's just straight up a missing shader. What is that? Hand scanner. Interesting. How did I miss that? City hand scanner. Totally missed that shader. Whoops. I don't know how to. I believe that you can learn. I think you're probably smart and very capable. You got this. All right, hand scanner's right there. Cool, cool. So I can take that and just make a shader for it. Easy peasy. Hand scanner, hand scanner, hand scanner. There it is. Nice. Alright, so we'll put that on hand scanner. Boom. Okay, a little Halo 2 building here. This is start it's shaping up. We got our little Halo 2 building. It's getting there. Not too bad. I mean it's pretty bad, but it'll get there. Just you gotta you gotta let me cook. If you let me cook on this, I, I won't do you dirty. I won't do bad or wrong by you. This will end up looking good. 
I'm actually enjoying the Snark from your recently RS. When you get the chance, I recommend making a smash cut of Snarkiest Moments 2024 and turn it into a video. Well, I have not yet been told by anyone that I'm being too much of an asshole. I even asked my roommate the other day, I was like, I feel like I've been, like, acting different recently. And she was like, yep, you have. And I was like, well, she didn't say it was a bad thing, so I guess I'm not annoying anyone yet. So that's lucky. But to be fair, I am, like, holding it in really hard. I'm like, I'm fine. Don't, don't piss everybody off. Don't piss everybody off. You've got this. Alright, this roof material is base stucco 3 roof. Whoa! Wowza! Amazing. Right, base stucco 3 roof. That's so cool. Anyway. Oh, it looks like it does not have a fancy thingy. It's music is not like a personality change. You're just not restraining yourself as much. Chemically induced or lack thereof honesty. Yeah. I probably should have been doing that forever. It's not good to just pretend and just be like, I don't care. And then the truth is, I do care. Yo, what a cozy little house, man. What a cozy little new mom or old Mombasa house. I'm gonna destroy this building. I'm gonna destroy it all. I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna fucking kill it. From above? It doesn't look half bad. From down here with its proper texture and art style applied, it does look a little better, but obviously it's still very blurry. Like, this is not Halo 3's level of fidelity. This shit is blurred, for sure. There's no getting around that fact. This is very blurry. We can do better. Definitely do better. As the days go longer and longer into the month, you could go full snark. Uh, hopefully not. <laughs> Nobody needs to see that. We will be so fine if that does not happen. But we're getting there. I think, though, we're going to take a field trip to Ghost Town. Let's go to Ghost Town. I feel like Ghost Town is the only, like, low-key, old Mombasa-type vibe in Halo 3. I don't know if it's going to be the vibe I'm looking for, but it might possibly be it. We'll find out when we get there. I think well, Ghost Town's a little bit more concrete, not really stucco, which is a bit of an issue, but maybe I can kind of get away with the switch and nobody will notice. Let's see. It does feel a bit old Mombasa-y. Got like brick. That could be considered stucco. Yeah, I feel like I feel like this has some old Mombasa vibe to it. It's not identical, but the textures could definitely work. Like for sure. Yeah, I I think I definitely could uh I could I could build some old Mombasa. Like I could replace the old Halo 2 textures just with the Ghost Town stuff. Like some of the, the brick stuff, those bricks right here, the, um, the like stucco that's covering everything, I'll just use like this concrete right here and say fuck it. I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, dude, I want to use this now. This is so nice. It's like these just exist here. Just they were waiting for me. They were waiting for me. This is amazing. I've already used a lot of these textures too on... um. <clears throat> On my spooky scary map. I used a lot of assets from Ghost Town on my spooky scary map. Hey kitty. How you doing? Uh, let's try this. I'm actually so curious. I don't know if there's any good roof materials. All the roofs here are like metal. I think I might have to stick with the current Halo 2 era like blurry ass roof materials. 
because nothing here is really striking that vibe. All the roofs here are concrete. Oh, big stretch for kitty cat. Big stretch. Oh, my sweet girl. Hello, hello. We must have changed a lot from 2 through ODST. Well, this is... I mean, you, you make a valid point. You make a valid point. I could definitely change it up and it'd be fine. I could just give everything... No, but there... I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. For now, though, I think what I'm going to do... Uh, I'm going to go check out... I'm going to go back to our, our map here, the new custom one. War of Mombasa. So ominous. I'm going to open up a fourth blender and find my spooky map, wherever the hell I put it. And that should have a bunch of Ghost Town assets. Actually, no, I can just re-import Ghost Town. What am I saying? Oh, let me... Imports... There. Give me one sec while I get all of Ghost Town re-imported back in. Three data extracted. Levels DLC. Ghost Town structure. Okay, I got Ghost Town. Found it. Uh, once the game ends, is it possible to have regrets? Super carrying slip space portal happen and envelop the whole map. Once the game ends, um. That is actually a really cool idea. I'm gonna be dead ass honest with you. I really like that idea. Is it possible? It might be possible. Um, it might actually be possible. I frick you not. As Concrete B. It is literally just called Concrete B and I need to steal that material, but yeah, okay. Very good. Dude, I'm going to make the best old Mombasa buildings you've ever seen using Ghost Town material. This is going to be so good. Look at all these little things I can just slap on the sides of these buildings right here. Little vents and fucking whatever this is. Dude, oh, I'm going to put these everywhere, man. This is going to be awesome. This is going to be so cool. All right, we're going to grab the concrete B material here. Dude, I'm going to make this shit so fucking fly. You have no idea how cool this is about to get. All right, so this... This right here, this material, stucco 3, that makes up the majority of this. I don't like it, man. I'm going to be honest. This is going to become conk B. <laughs> We're going to take conk B here and uh, extract this out. And let's, I don't know, maybe it might be too blurry. It might be too zoomed in. I might have to redo the UVs or something, but we'll see. You know? You know Spanner Arts Dig Site Series 40 pistol models available download? I did not know that. But that's pretty cool. I'm going to be so real. I don't really have much of an interest in like the dig site stuff for Halo 1 at all. That just wasn't my scene. I do think it's neat, though. I'd be lying if I didn't. I told you I didn't think it was neat. I think it's pretty, I think it's pretty neat. But, you know, I'm just, I'm not that old. You know, I am old, but I'm not that old. Okay, well, the UVs are very clearly not stretching the way I wanted them to. Also, I might need to try a different material. Like, what's this one? This one might be a little better. Uh, concrete A. Let's try Concrete A. In fact, I'm feeling a little brave. Let's put, like, all the fucking... All the shaders from Ghost Town into here, because I am insane. All the Concrete A, B, C, D, E... Floor A. Yeah, we're going to get all of those. Put them in here. Let's try Concrete A. Also, I think the UVs are actually just a little bit cursed. Like, let me see here. UVs. They're really not that cursed, to be honest. Maybe they were just squished in Halo 3. That actually could be what's going on. It's like... I'll be honest, it doesn't look that bad. It looks like... Pretty, like, exact, in fact. Yeah, let's just rename that to Concrete A and see if that looks any better. Because it might just have, like, less lines and stuff. But before I do that, I just had an idea. What if I just squish it? 
Nah, maybe the other concrete just won't have so many symmetrical lines in it, it won't look as bad. Is that Craze Jazz with the five gifted memberships? Thank you so much! Really appreciate that support. Thank you, thank you. That is very kind of you. Thank you so much. Yeah, be sure to thank uh, Jazz for that. That's so nice of him. Oh. oh yeah, okay. This one looks a decent bit better. It's not perfect because it's still... I might have to like flip some of the UVs there and stuff, but like... I actually do think that looks decently better. Like it up to the fidelity without really like pulling away too much. I will say it doesn't feel like stucco anymore, but it, it's still there. It still has the same... Uh, the, I don't know. It's definitely a bit messier. I wish it was like more of like a, in the way that the Halo 2 texture was just kind of universally grungy in every direction. Much love. Well, much love to you, Craze. Thank you so much. The, the main issue that this has is, well, one, it's a little bit stretched, which looks a little silly, but also it's just got lines. I'm going to see if there's like a concrete texture on Ghost Town that does not have lines in it. Because the lines are what's kind of killing it. The Halo 2 uses a lot of these, like, tileable in all directions, rotatable in all directions, kind of uniform flat textures that you can just kind of spam on anything wherever you want. I finally got a PC and finally got to try your mods out. I love them so much. Thank you. That's fucking awesome. I'm so happy to hear that. Well, thank you for playing the mods and enjoying them. I hope you get a lot of enjoyment out of them. Yeah, all of these, this concrete has like lines. All the concrete has lines. All of it. There is no concrete without lines. Except... This. <gasps> this could be what I'm looking for. Hold on! That's Flore, isn't it? I, I've got a feeling that's Flore. I remember that material name. Warehouse Floor. Oh yeah, baby, that's it, that's it. I, I feel it. I'm getting, I got a good feeling about this one. I got a real good feeling about this one. It's a shader terrain. I don't even give a fuck, to be honest. That doesn't even change anything. I don't know why I was about to flip out over that. But at warehouse floor, that's what I'm going to call it. Let's try it. I'm going to export it. Just give me, give me a... I got a good feeling about this one. We are on the wrong map. Go back. Putting Florida into Halo 3. I am. It's over. You're fucked. Alright, here we go. I have a good feeling about this. Oh! Oh! oh. What did I do? Oh. Hideous. But also, there's something about it. There's something about it that I want. I want it. Guys, I think there's something good here. I think... I think I'm... It might look like ass because it looks like ass. But just because it looks like ass doesn't mean there's not something beautiful to be gleamed from it. Okay? Let me cook. I've got a good feeling about this, alright? Just let me cook here. Tweak the shader scale? No. No, 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 no. There's a problem, which is that it is a shader terrain. But there is a, something that's not a problem. This is Stucco H3, all right? I'm going to make a shader. I'm making a new shader called Stucco H3, all right? And what this is, is it's going to be my own creation. And by my own creation, I mean I'm literally just going to, like... Just merge a bunch of shit together and hope for the best. But it's just gotta take my word for it. This is gonna be cool. So I'm gonna import this into the game. Like so. Alright, we're gonna get that in. We're not even gonna look at it because it's not I haven't even done anything to it. It looks like ass right now. So just just get there. Trust me. Just, just trust in me. I know things sometimes. So this warehouse floor terrain shader that we were using that looks like doo-doo ass. Alright. We need. This. Concrete C. 
Actually, maybe all we needed was Concrete Sea this entire time, because Concrete Sea doesn't have lines in it, which is pretty much exactly what I wanted. Um, <laughs> maybe actually, maybe I just set it to Concrete Sea. I was about to go like balls to the walls. Uh, but no, Concrete Sea is the concrete without lines, apparently. So cool, yeah, let's do that. All right, neat. Uh, I'm gonna call it Concrete Sea 2 though, cause I want to make some modifications to it while also still having vanilla Concrete Sea in the, in the map. So I'll do that, and then we'll copy paste Concrete C2 import, right? And then go in game. Would you look at that? It's terrible, but we can fix it. That's the beauty of this. So we'll refresh, we'll go to our C2. Um, yeah, see, we definitely do not want it to be off scale at all. Try four. Still kind of ass, to be honest. If I do like three for the X, no, I made it worse. Uh, four and three there, maybe? Nope, that actually made it worse. Let's do like six, four and six. It's like higher fidelity, but also it's just stretched to high hell. I don't... What is happening here? What am I, like, witnessing? I'm so confused. Oh, I'm fucking with the bump detail map. No wonder I'm so confused. Alright, so it's just a little bit stretched is the main issue. On, I presume, the y-axis. So if I set that to 2... That makes it worse, I think. Did that make it worse? Yeah, that definitely made it worse. So we gotta reverse these two to four, two to four, two to four. That actually looks pretty good. I mean, obviously the building itself is made of really simple geometry. Simple geometry. Um, but you know, not even, not even all that bad to be honest. Like the, it's it's definitely a major improvement from the shitty Halo 2 blurry texture, right? So that is that is a W. Obviously, this needs a lot more improvements than just the texture, but like that's already a pretty huge improvement, I would say. We take those. We do take those. Another material I want to change now is this, which is the main material. It's another form of like dark brown stony stucco, and I want to look in game again at Ghost Town and see if there's anything I can use there that might. Um, also fill that vibe. So let's take a look. Levels, DLC, Ghost Town, we'll boot it back up. All right, so for a tileable, darker material. I could do metal, but I don't think... No, metal's not going to make sense. It definitely needs to be something floor-based. What is this? Cracked concrete. And then dirtied, darker concrete. I have an interesting thought, which is, what is it in the warehouse floor that is used. The first material is the one we're using right now on the outside of the building, which is this, Concrete C. But there's also Ground A, which let me see. Ground A, literally just dirt. Like a kind of gravelly, dark tiled dirt, which I actually kind of like. It's pretty good looking. Longshore has nice texture. That's a good point. I should definitely take a look at Longshore. The last one is Cracked Concrete, which... I'm gonna be real. I really like this cracked concrete texture. Like, that's really good. I could use that. Um, I could use cracked concrete here. That might look really nice, actually. Very tempting. Let me see. What does that look like in-game? You can kind of just see it everywhere. It's just like... It's just the same material 
as the main concrete, but it's just got cracks in it. So nothing too crazy. Hmm. Longshore has nice textures. Longshore has nice textures. Longshore has nice textures. Let's go to Longshore. Maybe it's got some more... Because Longshore also kind of takes place um, like near Mombasa. Longshore and Ghost Town take place near Mombasa. What was the other map that came in that map pack? Was that also related to like ODST? It was Assembly, right? Oh, wow. That's some great stuff here. There's a lot of great stuff here. Okay. A lot of warehouse vibes. Okay, okay. Some more concrete. I think got some nice concrete ground that I could use. I do wonder how they did the wet splashes and stuff on the ground there. I wonder what shaders that is, or like what the technique they're using there is. Um, that's interesting. Oh, it's parallax. That's a really good use of parallax, actually. I'm a fan of that. That's a really good use of Parallax. Bronk. Mm. Uh, Longshore doesn't have too much that I really want to use. Have a look at the roof? The roof. Oh, these are kind of nice. These could, these actually could replace the roofs that I'm using now. They do look a bit like the same vibe. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I'll say this. This is a great material right here. Um, really, really good. I'm going to use that for my Halo 3 Metropolis remake at some point. Glad to see this. This material here is actually just perfect. It is actually perfect for the roofs. And I'm going to steal it. I'm going to fucking steal this material. Can't stop me. I'm crazy. That's DLC docks shaders. I gotta find the name of it really quickly. Glass factory chain bridge billboard bridge switch ceiling puffy insulation chain machinery corrugated translucent. I don't know. That's not it, right? No, it is corrugated, but it's not that one. Dock concrete wall should not be it, but you never know. Names get weird. Oh, that's a very nice concrete wall. Oh my god! That was so loud, dude. I have been listening to like quiet music for so long. Thank you for the two dollar tip though, Halo Meister. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Stealing is wrong, okay. Listen, uh, listen, listen. It's not what it sounds like, okay? It's not what it sounds like. I'm not stealing, I'm just borrowing. And I have permission to a degree. Listen, don't worry about it, alright? It's not important. I don't understand. You're making a big deal out of nothing. You're, free you're freaking me out. Freaking me out here. Tech sheet. Whoa, there's a lot of techy looking stuff on that sheet. Vinyl panels. Hey, maybe this is it. Is it vinyl panels? Please tell me you're it. Bitch, what the? Where? Where is this cool roof shader? Oh, wait, look at that. They're all right here. There's so many shaders, I'm gonna die. I'm just, I'm going to die. Wait, this might be it. Good news, that is not it. Metal shell, sienna. Large ribbed. 
We look we look for these ribbed textures. Metal ribbed ceiling bit. This is it! <laughs> Found it. Metal shell sienna large ribbed dot shader. What a fucking name that is. Metal shell sienna large <laughs> ribbed dot shader. Wow, 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 wow. I'm instead going to call that metal roof. We're just going to roll with that because that sounds a lot nicer, to be honest. We're going to just metal roof. Easy peasy. Let's see if it looks any good, though, because this might look like ass and I'll regret it. Yeah, fuck it. Fuck it! Export ass Halo 3, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Then we open up the other one. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go in here. High ground has nice concrete, if I remember right. It does have some pretty nice concrete, but I will say the DLC maps have a lot higher resolution stuff. Tend to go for small ribbed at the shops. Okay, well, thank you for sharing. Appreciate that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Okay, it's nice, but it's also in the wrong direction. Oh, wow. What a good use of parallax, actually. Damn. Now, this is a great material, but it's just uh, rotated the wrong way. I wonder if we can fix that in the shader itself. It'd be better than trying to fix the actual model. I mean, actually, it doesn't matter either way, but whatever. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. I can't just rotate it. But this does. This is starting to feel a little bit. All right, I'm just going to say it. It's starting to feel slightly a little bit like a kind of remastering that's happening with these improved shaders. You know, I don't want to be that guy and be like, wow, I'm sure I'm remastering it right now. But it's starting to feel pretty good. Okay, it is. I'm not going to lie. I like it. I'm going to do that. I'll rotate those UVs. We'll do it again. Let's see if this looks better. I think there were also roofs you could use too. Yeah, I don't know what that means. That's pretty vague, and I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, you're talking about high ground. Nah, they used a... Uh... Oh, yeah, I'm actually a pretty big fan of that. That's quite nice. Definitely not its original intention. Used... It's not its original use case. But it does look very good. It works really well for bringing together uh, this building. I don't want to use it down here as well, to be honest. I think it would look pretty good there. I need to change the texture of that. Not bad, dude. Not bad. If I can just take this treatment and slowly but surely apply it to a bunch of other little low-quality Halo 2 buildings, I could easily fill out a massive, enormous, huge, gigantic city full of destructible buildings. 100%. 100%. Not even a problem. I think there were also roofs you could use to... Oh, I just read that. I don't know. I'm just used to chat going faster than this. My brain is, like, trying to catch up on chat, but there's nothing to catch up on. Alright, not looking too shabby. I think the next thing I would want to change, once again, is this dark grungy, rocky material down here. It's like a dark brown grunge material. I think some kind of recolored concrete just might be the move. Gotta be something like stained and dirty and stony. Could try chat filler insertion. Thank you, I appreciate that. Um... What might be good here? I couldn't... I don't know. I don't know what I could do here, honestly. There, there, there could be something, though. It, I, it needs to be... I'm going to try Ghost Town one more time. We're going to load up Ghost Town again. Because I have a feeling the shader that I'm looking for, the answer to my prayers is on Ghost Town. Because Ghost Town's got a lot of that grunginess to it, you know? Got a, lot of, a whole lot of grunge. So 
So I could do metal, but I won't do metal. Um, blue concrete walls. What is this broken concrete in here? Is that just cracked concrete? Because that actually could be what I use. It's just the inside of this cracked concrete right here. I'll come back to that in a second if I can't find anything else. This ter ground terrain actually could work. If I take this cracked stone, but putting that all around the outside of a building doesn't make too much sense, so I might forgo that. I am, however, very interested in this cracked concrete here. That might be what I should be using. Or even this. This. What is this? I'm going to use this. It looks like cracked concrete, but like with darker colors and some splotches. What about Halo 2 Zanzibar roofs? Well, I'm already pulling from Halo 2. I'm trying to get Halo 3 stuff in here now. What are you? I'm going into that spot. Is that? I think I already know what that material is, but... Broken concrete. Okay, it's literally just the same broken concrete, the material that I thought it was. Nice. All right, we have broken concrete, which means I can now go into here, not here, into here, and I can swap out the uh, stucco brick. I know it says stucco brick, but it looks nothing like brick. It looks a lot more like broken concrete, to be honest. Hate to say it. But that ain't no brick. Alright, let's go back over and see if that looks any good. And mind you, this is all before I actually touch up the model of the building itself. You normally want the foundation of your buildings to not have cracks and be as homogenous as possible. You make a valid point. However, counterpoint... Um, Ooh, actually, I don't know if I like the look of that. It's a bit too noisy. Unless... Unless... I mean, actually, I don't know if anything's really going to save this, but I'm going to try one thing. And that is to take the broken concrete and color the albedo base to a dark brown. Did I tile it more? turn the roughness down or something, because that is just... Okay, it looks a little bit better when it's, like, less wet. I mean, this is not going to end up looking like a beautiful mod, because I'm literally taking Halo 2 structures and just giving them higher res textures but i mean that's an improvement i'd say i think that like keeps the same kind of vibe and then we're not even done yet but like we're keeping the same kind of vibe here and it's it's all right it's not bad i think it's passable <sighs> Thank you, Kevin. not bad basically what i need to do is just make some streets Make a destroyed version of this after polishing up a bit more, and then copy and paste it around with some cool effects. Then I can start stomping on stuff with my scarab. That'd be pretty cool. Boom, that building would be done for right there. That scarab would have stomped directly inside of it and crushed into a gazillion pieces. It'd be so cool to just like see it stomping around in dust. It's just coom, coom, coom. Like every time it steps, a building is just destroyed utterly. You can hear it in the distance. Dust cloud goes shooting up into the air. Oh, that'd be so sick. 
What's happening? New mod. New mod just dropped. I'm making a, a scarab step on buildings and the buildings are going to blow up. Can't wait for the FPS to tank like mad. No, I have a really optimized way of doing it. That's some people might find lame, but I'm going to make sure it's like extremely optimized. Did I make the house? Uh, I ripped it from Halo 2 and then tried. I gave it some new textures to hopefully make it look a little nicer. It looks like ass right now, but I'm hoping that with a little bit of love and care, I can make it look less ass. Just kind of experimenting. You seen the Fallout show? I watched the first two episodes. It's really good. Really good. I kept, I was watching with my roommate and I'm just like, I kept looking at her. I'm like, <laughs> I was so upset. I was like, dude, the fucking Halo show is so ass. I just like kept, that was the thought that just kept going through my mind. I was like, bro, why is the Halo show so ass? The Fallout fans are eating so good. Ah, ah, Dude, anyone who's complaining about like Fallout show not going to lore or whatever literally needs to be like shoved in a locker. I swear to God, that show is really good. Demon, thanks for the five, dude. Appreciate the support. Thank you very much. I join in. You're starting something new instead of finishing an existing project. Understandable. It's to be expected. You know, <laughs> I was like so ready to read that and then hear you just be like, I can't believe it. But honestly, I think I've switched projects and become distracted so often that, I don't know. I guess you just, even you expect it now. Or you're just like, yeah, it's, that's this fucking idiot. Again. This fucking guy. <laughs> Completion? What is that? Can you eat it? Last Resort has nice brickwork textures near the ocean edge. You might like them. You know, I haven't looked at Last Resort in so long. I vaguely know what you're talking about. Like, I know some of the brickwork structures. Let's see. It does... What, is this, what does it look like? Zanzibar. Last Resort is kind of, it is kind of Old mombasa E. you know? It's on the beach, probably set somewhere near Old Mombasa. For a second, I thought you had a big old blunt in your mouth. I wish. Nah, it's just this stupid device that you've probably seen advertised on YouTube called the Fume. It doesn't help you get over vaping. Kind of just sucks ass, though, to be honest. Okay, you know, these might not be bad, actually. These bricks. Not bad. And then this, this concrete here is not bad either. This is a bit more industrial in here, but... I will say, these bricks are pretty nice. I could probably use this brick material for, like, the base of the house, that brick... So that's literally the stucco brick I was looking for, actually. That's exactly what I'm going to do, is I'm going to use this. I am going to use it, but also, I'm going to use the restroom. Holy shit, I'm about to... I'm not even going to lie. I'm about to piss myself. That just hit me like a truck. I will be right back. But we're going to use that, 100%. Hello. I'm taking these bricks. They're mine now. I don't know, like, uh, what the deal with them is, but I know that I need them immediately. And, 
uh, this broken texture actually. I'm gonna be so real on this part, this structure right here, dude. Bungie did a ass fucking job on the lighting. Like this looks like garbage, bro. Look at that. That's embarrassing. Yo, Swiss! Good to see you. It's been a minute. Thank you for the 20 months. Thank you so much. I always loved this map. Lots of memories here. Lots of memories for me too. I always was so like blown away by people building forge maps out in the water. I remember some people would like build outside the soft barrier and then there would be like sharks. There's like a game mode called like shark attack and you'd be all the way out here deep in the water like jumping from crate to crate. That was so fun. I loved it. This is what my ultimate forge water needs to look like on the skybox where the skybox water like perfectly blends into the actual water. Like can you guys even tell the difference between this real water uh, the skybox water. Like, look how seamless that transition is. Spoiler alert, the transition occurs right here. Oh, that's so well done. I think they made cat and mouse, yeah. I do believe they did. Oh, would you look at that? The beach actually falls off and goes, like, deep into the ocean here. You know what I should do is expand this map, make an entire underwater exploratory ocean map, and you need to use a submarine to explore outside the world. You guys are so right. That's exactly what I should do. What was I doing again? <laughs> I completely fucking forgot. I was doing something. There's no doubt about it. I'm sure I was doing a thing. I'm gonna use that brick texture. Bricks! Oh, they, they call me bricked up. Find out what that brick texture is, though, because I really do not know. Multi Zanzibar shaders, beach rock, metal, cement lot, concrete walls, seawall. Probably seawall. I would almost. <laughs> I love this Zan. That okay? You guys can't see this. Let me show you. I didn't know this was a tag, but I love this. Somebody really, really enjoyed working on the water in Zanzibar. Because this right here is Zanzibar Water Awesome. And that's the water shader they were using. Which I agree, the water on that map does look awesome. It is very fucking awesome. I think Seawall Shader Terrain is the one I'm looking for. And... I need to make my own shader out of it, because the shader terrains are complicated. Seawall Grime is the first part of it. Not a bad shader, but useless for me right now. I lied. I lied. It's got a brick bump map, which is exactly what I was looking for. Um, got a nice detail map, too. What's the other one? Seawall Plaster, too? What do, you, what do you look like? That might be actually the shader I want. To be, to be absolutely, totally, undeniably real for real. And the last one is you all brick diffuse. Oh, <laughs> that's an actual brick right there. Yeah, we're gonna use that. Da -da -da -da. Here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna take the other shader. Uh, I believe I was using. What? What? The, what? Is, 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 Broken Concrete was the name. I'm gonna edit Broken Concrete. Broken Concrete is now gonna use this. And this. And this. Now them some bricks. That is actually better. That is unironically, unequivocally, so much better. It's actually brick. That looks way better. Hell yeah. Actually so real. 
top tier suggestion that actually improved the visuals substantially. Um, it is more industrial, but it could have potential. Why not take a peek at Lockout? There could be some good stuff on Lockout, but... I kind of want to work on, um, not just doing shader stuff, but we're getting this to look a little bit nicer overall. Although... I don't know if I want to spend too much time beautifying. What's that weird black line? Oh, it's part of the grunge. I don't know why, but the grunge has, like, a texture overwrap on it. Let me see, actually. It shouldn't have any overwrap. Are you 3D? Oh, okay. Yeah, um, there is a little bit of overwrap on that. Hold on. That should be... The material is under multi. Bombasa bridge shaders, grime, window, and it should not have its wrap mode set. Grime window, wrap mode, clamp. There we go, line's gone. Thank you for pointing that out, Kathleen. I would have just let that sit there forever because I, I had noticed it, but like the way my mind works, I would have just like stared at it and been like, that sure is a thing. Oh, hi, Kitty Cat. Hey, Mr. You were just exploring all day, weren't you? Yeah, you were. Okay. I think generally this is an improvement texture wise. The building itself could benefit from some shading. You gonna do anything with that drone model I showed you? I was thinking about it. Oh yeah, I haven't talked about that on stream yet. Well, I, there's probably a few people, our view count's really low today. It's actually been really low all week. But there's some people who I'm sure would be interested in seeing this. Um, Catherine was exploring in ODST's files, and I know a lot of you guys here are interested in the, um, the giant boat that is on Longshore in Halo 3, there's that giant boat. Catherine went into Halo 3 ODST to the exact same um, boat, this thing right here, and found out in ODST it is a higher quality and more detailed model with the actual 3D models of the old prototype drones, the Wombat drones, on them. And I looked in-game at them. Um, and it is it is exactly as you see here. It's an old, early prototype model of the drones are actually in there. And they, they have, like, all kinds of different parts of the models on them. It's really cool. The Wombat is, like, it's a different model. It even has its landing gear on it, which is pretty sick. So those little 2D pictures that you're used to seeing of the drones on the ship, the actual 3D model of that is in Halo 3 ODST, weirdly enough, in the files. It just is. I think it goes completely unused. But it's just sitting in the files. So it makes me wonder how much stuff in ODST in the files is like just unused like that. It's strange. But it kind of makes me want to do some texturing on this at some point and use this. At the very least now there's landing gear for the Wombat. I like how it has these curves though. I think it looks pretty rad. It's not just like that perfectly sleek aerodynamic design the final version has. Yeah. And as Catherine showed, there's a lot of extra detail on the boat itself, which is really cool. Really, really cool. So uh, in the future, I might do something with that. We'll see. Ugh, excuse me. Um, real quick though. Close the Zanzibar seawall. I want to make this roof a little more orange, to be honest. The not stucco H3. This is not called metal roof. There it is, metal roof. I'm going to set the albedo, albedo color to be orange. A little too yellow, maybe a little more orange red. Yeah, it's a little more orange. I think that looks better. I think it matches a little nicer. Can we darken it? Yeah, it's a bit nicer. I like it. It looks really ugly right now because it doesn't have any lighting on it at all. But I think if this had some lighting, it would look a little bit, just a teensy bit nicer. 
Can I light this? This level's like really tiny. I feel like I could probably light map this in like 30 seconds. Let's see if it works. I'm curious. Data, levels, custom, or blah, 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 blah. We'll do a low lighting on tool fast. Let's see if it, if it works really quickly, that would be pretty cool. Oh, it's actually going like super quick. Okay, yeah, we should actually get some light mapping done on this. I'm not answering your questions. I uh, I don't know. The last time you talked was a while ago. I don't know what you said. Dude, look, it's light mapping at like record speeds right now on low quality, which is like pretty high, all things considered. That's wild. This is going to be exciting. Maybe it won't look like ass. That'd be cool. Come on. I don't want to sit and watch the loading bar all day, but I'm, I'm doing it. Doing it for content. Even though it's it in itself is not content. Give that shit the Blackbird paint job. Ooh, actually, the, getting the old drone concept, the Blackbird paint job would go crazy hard. Oh, oh, it's going so quickly. It's going so quickly. Pelican versus Scarab. The Scarab wins every time. We saw it in the cutscenes. Scarab gets, or Pelican gets its shit rocked by a Scarab every single time, without fail. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, come on. Really, you're going to rasterize it all together in the final gather? How dare you? I was so ready to see that. I was so ready to see all of its beauty, its grace, in this United States. It do be loading. Yo, demon! Thank you for the two, man. Tell that to Carter. I don't think I will. Come on, cook! Cook more! Ah. Excuse me. Oh? Oh? Oh! I'm gonna be honest though, Demon, I, I don't know what that was in reference to. I zoned out really hard. I was thinking about like all the, vi I was thinking about like the video I'm editing right now and how I'm going to immediately start editing as soon as I end stream tonight and like also the different methods in which I want to do the building destruction and stuff. Okay, does this look any good? How the light mapping? Did this actually help it? Wow, I'm gonna be honest, the light mapping really carried a lot of this building. That made this building look so much nicer. Like this building doesn't look very good to be honest, but the light mapping really carried it hard. That, that did a number on it. I wonder if does RJ have multiple videos? I have uh, quite a few videos I'm cooking up right now. Wow, yeah, that did all the work ever. That's wild. And I mean, obviously this is still getting cooked up needs a lot of work but this one's 
not looking half bad with the light mapping. It, it went kind of crazy. Worth it. Worth it. I think I'm gonna end it here though. I'm gonna be honest. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna hop off. I want to get this video out ASAP, and I'm gonna need to do a whole bunch of work uh, to pull that off. So for the time being, I'm gonna I'm gonna dip out. I'm gonna hop off. It's been a really slow day today. You know, honestly, it's been a really slow week. It's really kind of depressing me, but. It'd be like that sometimes, hopefully getting a bunch of videos out there and, you know, advertising, streaming stuff will help out. But I'm going to hop out for now. Thank you guys so much for being here today. Uh, I'm going to go make some videos and hopefully get them out in the next day or two. I'm going to go work on it nonstop. Have a good one, you guys. I will talk to you tomorrow. Be sure to join the Discord if you're uh, a new member as well. Uh, you know, you get permissions if you're a YouTube member. I'm out, though. Have a good one, you guys. Bye-bye.